Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and Thursday means one thing. We've got an interesting, exciting update from the Space Engineers developers. So what have we got in today's update? Well, the first thing that you're going to notice when you pop into your game is that the textures have been highly definitioned and changed somewhat. You can actually just see the actual texture of these panels seem to be a little bit more construction sort of friendly. They feel like they're more screwed together, the lines are actually more deeper, and it feels a lot more like it's been a constructed panel than the blurry block that it was once before. And the same has been done with heavy armor. We've got a lot more detail. We can really see them rivets. We can see the scratch marks. And the camouflage seems to feel a little bit more smoother as it flows across the actual design. Obviously, the camouflage is still not my favorite sort of pattern, but it still looks really nice. And I'm glad to see that these two sorts of main block have been refined. Now, if we pop into our inventory and pop over here, you're probably wondering what this interesting block is next to our beautiful gravity generator. Well, as it says on the side, it is a gravity generator, but this is a spherical gravity generator. That means it can basically generate a gravitational field in a sphere around the actual object itself. So let's actually have a look at it in this container over here. So what I'm going to do is press F11, and I'm going to enable physics and primitives, so we can actually have a look at what it's doing. So that big bulb around the actual location is the gravitational field that it's creating, and it's creating it in a circle sort of fashion. So let's show that a little bit better over here. So this is the circular actual pattern that it's generating, and this allows us to do a whole variety of exciting little things. We can build shield generators, and we can even do some really exciting and simple walks like this. So if I just disable my primitives, like so, and now I go for a run, we can actually have this really sort of disorientating sort of platform where we can actually keep level and just keep going around in circles and we can even speed it up a little bit and we're going around in a circle probably making you extremely dizzy and feel a bit sick but that is how we can use it to actually benefit ourselves in this sort of environment once again let's re-enable our primitives with f11 and take that back up and you can actually see the actual shape is created around in that bubble pushing it out so let's actually have a look at the physics in some more interesting sort of ways so we have the actual generator in here and we're going to drop some different sorts of equipment down from the roof onto it to show how we can actually use this. So first off, let's activate the panel. So we're going to press T and we should start dropping some components in. So now all the objects have been actually dropped out of the connector, they've been attracted towards the actual gravity generator itself. And now they've been pulled towards it, we can actually reverse them away and get some really interesting sort of results. Imagine a situation where you may be mining, there may be loads of rocks floating around, and you need to attract them rocks towards you. Like previously, you could just drop a single gravity generator and drop them all to the ground, and then you could collect them up but now you can actually attract all the rocks towards you and actually suck them in through your connectors, through your hoses and make a really interesting sort of design. Now let's actually repel all these items that are attached to it. So we're gonna simply do that by selecting the gravity generator and reversing the acceleration. You may notice that nothing's actually happened. So if we turn it on and off, there we go. All the items are actually being repelled away. Now let's reverse that and attract the items back towards it by changing the acceleration once again. So nothing's happened. Let's restart the gravity generator. And there you go. We can see all the items have been attracted. That can work with ore or any of the items that are actually being attracted by this. So it'd be really interesting to see. So let's move on and try some things that are a little bit different. So if we walk along this catwalk and we fly over to this control panel, You'll notice that there's a whole variety of gravity cubes in here with little generators on them and I've used them attached just in the same way. Now I was starting to get a little bit technical and just look how awesome that looks when it's all attracted together. Now let's repel these away and I'll show you the effects these sorts of give you. Now if we select generator 3 and we back off, you can just see the sort of repel in the action, just how exciting that is. Just imagine walking into a room and somebody switches that and all the items just go all over the place. And let's reverse that once again. And you can see we attract the items. We can attract them as well and repel them at different sorts of speed. So if we decide to go three and then we repel them at a very slow sort of velocity, you can see just how interesting that can be as well. And then we can attract them very slowly. So 
you don't cause any damage to your sort of ship if you're mining and using it for a mining sort of purpose so back to five and you can see that they're actually being attracted very slowly back towards it now we'll just do a final little bit of adjustment and get them coming towards it a little bit faster and you can see since this is round the corners of this box have actually been cut off and if we hit f11 you can see that more clearly so it's not actually able to reach these ones that are in the upper corners just because of its sort of spherical sort of design now oh, that was a mouthful couldn't even pronounce it properly anyway let's move on to the final design now over here i created something that i thought would be extremely exciting let's disable this thing and this is a sort of mine sort of system you could even say it's like a claymore a space claymore that's remotely detonated imagine having a few of these in space you've got these sort of warheads on gravity cubes attached to them and as soon as you press a button all these sort of gravity cubes go flying off into the direction of the target and cause absolute mayhem i'm going to show you this now so we've got them all attached all being pulled towards that generator at the moment but with a simple reverse like so we can have them all flying away and causing some sort of cluster bomb effect hitting any vessel that's flying by big or small and obviously you can up the size of the actual warheads and have some serious firepower sort of mine sort of system in that case anyway let's move on now the final thing i'd like to show you is the ability to actually copy and paste ships into your clipboard and then use them maybe as a rescue ship or a militant trade ship or something that's no end to your world randomly so it's as simple as copying and pasting the ship so i'm just using this simple cockpit at the moment hitting f11 and then export clipboard to file so you can actually see that this prefab has been saved as small ship 71 Two, seven. and if I decided to name this cockpit it would be exported as there and all I have to do then is do a few replacements in the files find the small ship find the rescue ship and simply replace that and I can use my own sort of rescue vessel maybe you think the yellow one is a little bit too easy like I do then you can make yourself a much harder sort of rescue ship maybe something that's just a bare bones sort of one engine craft that just drops you in like a little bit of a drop pod with no supplies on board anyway Thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see what you're going to be able to do with this new source of gravity generator as well as the new components.